I don't. All right, yeah, right, guys and gals, welcome back to a, another quick video on my YouTube channel. So I just want to sort of like, um, basic. I should see if I can do it a bit closer. See if it's a bit louder. Right. So it is Saturday, the nineteenth of June, twenty twenty-one, at the time of the video, um, and it's ten fifty-two at the time of the video as well. I've been still waiting for my bloody uh, boxing gym equipment to come through the post. And I was, I was getting a boxing bag and stuff with some, like, uh, boxing gloves. Still haven't bloody turned up at Amazon yet, uh, from Amazon. Uh, bloody useless. Sometimes you wait a few days. Sometimes you can wait, like, to a week or something before you get it. But anyway, um, so we're looking at a post today. Um, was not actually posted today, though. Uh, this was done three days going back by the BBC. So, COVID vaccine to be compulsory for England care home staff. Now, now I'm not sort of like a disagreeing with this, obviously. But, obviously, at, to this point, we know the virus... Is starting to spread even more with this new COVID uh, variant, the Indian variant, is it the uh, the new one they've got out there? Um, so because of the new one, they're trying to basically get care home um, helpers, home staff, or care England care home staff to make it pulsor, uh, compulsory for them to have the vaccines. Now that's all fine. That's all good. If they want it. But what happens for the amount of people that don't want it. Which is actually I'd say probably 85%, 95% of the people who actually work in these care homes. Because they're already like understaffed already. There's hardly any staff members like looking after a lot of these like care homes. And now they're trying to make it compulsory. The whole government sort of thing. So uh, COVID vaccinations are to become compulsory compulsory for staff at a care homes in england health secretary matt hancock has said so he's the guy who's uh, been told by this other guy that he's not been doing it properly the whole government's not been doing their bit properly and they've let millions of people die um under their help so it's really really bad Mr. Hancock said it was uh, a sensible and reasonable step and he would consult on extending it to the NHS. So he wants to do it in the National Health Service, but also he wants to do it in these care homes. Now, that's all fine if those people want it and they want the vaccinations. That's fantastic. That's great because it saves people's lives. And obviously it prevents people from giving it to other people and catching it themselves with this new covid um but uh, there are no plans to extend the mandatory vaccinations beyond health and care workers he said workers will have a 16 weeks to get both jabs from the time regulations are approved by parliament so it has to be approved by parliament but they have to have both vaccines uh, that's the first vaccine they have to have and the second one. Now, there's a problem with this. Now, what happens if those people, those staff members who do not want it, which is probably, I'd say, probably 85, 95% of those people, staff members, are refusing to have it. Um, and it's probably about 5, 10%, maybe. Might even be 25 or 30% of people that might want it and stuff. I mean, it's very small, though. But those people who don't want it, uh, and then they say, right, sorry, right, we're going to have to let you go because of the vaccine that you don't want. So we're going to have to sack you um, until you have that vaccine. So basically, they're being forced to have it uh, to keep their jobs. Now, uh, if they do not, uh, if, right, if they do not, they face being redeployed away from frontline care or potentially losing their jobs uh mr hancock told the house of commons 
that the vast majority of staff in care homes were vaccinated, but not all of them. So the vast majority of staff in care homes were vaccinated, but not all of them. Well, there's a problem with this. They're saying the vast majority. I think there's a lot less. I think there's about 80 to 90 percent of those people who do not want it, but they're being forced to have it. That's probably why they're having it done because they don't want to lose their jobs. But it feels like they're being sort of forced to have it. It's made it compulsory. Now you think all those people in that staff and well, in that care home, all the old elderly people. You would think they've already been vaccinated by now, right? Because I thought all the care homes have been vaccinated with the elderly people in there. Now, if that's true, right, and we're, they're saying that once you've been vaccinated, you're more protected up to 93%, 94% or 98% protected, right? Then surely, right, you wouldn't be able to catch it, even if you've got a staff member looking after you in an old people's home there and stuff, or looking after the members of the like elderly people in that sort of uh, care home. I mean, it just seems there's something not right there or something fishy going on, but... Uh, Mr. Hancock told the House of Commons that the vast majority of staff in care homes were vaccinated, but not all of them. Uh, we know that the vaccine um, not only protects you. So if it protects you, then why do the staff members need the vaccines if the elderly have been vaccinated and been protected? So he's already said it here. We know the vaccine not only protects you, but protects those around you. So the elderly then have been vaccinated so surely 100% of that will be mean that they're protected. Um, he said, adding that compulsory vaccination in care homes and hospitals would save lives. But wouldn't you think they'd be saving lives anyway, giving it to the elderly? I mean, I don't get it. Like, I thought they're protected anyway. Similarly, they've just had the vaccines and they've actually had their two vaccines already. Care organisations have warned that compulsory vaccinations could cause significant difficulties in a sector that already struggles to recruit enough people. Yeah, they're not recruiting enough people because they don't want to be vaccinated or they don't want the vaccines and stuff or they don't want to basically have that problem. And also, it can take a long time for them to become like a part of looking after those people to become a carer it would take a lot of training for them to look after them <coughs> all right so uh was just so uh organize right so care organizations have warned the compulsory vaccinations could cause significant difficulties in a sector that already struggles to recruit enough people the government however believed to have considerable concerns about the low take-up of the vaccine in some areas including london uh, a white horse source told that uh, told the bbc that the guidance to the doctors that they should take the um hepatitis b vaccine suggested there is pre uh, was that precedent president for mandatory vaccinations <coughs> The requirements will also apply to volunteers at care homes and those visiting for other work, such as healthcare workers, trade people, hairdressers, and beauticians. Workers who can prove they are medically exempt from getting the vaccine will not be affected. There will be also uh, exemptions. For visiting family and friends under 18s emergency services and people undertaking urgent maintenance work government in scotland wales northern ireland have said they have no plans to make covid jabs mandatory for care homes so they're not doing it <coughs> oh god so from coming on don't worry it's not covid oh right um 
London care homes least protected uh, proportions of homes with at least 80% of the staff and at least 90% of the residents fully. So 30%, um, so they're saying proportions of homes with at least 80% of the staff and at least 90% of the residents fully vaccinated. Southwest is 49%, Northeastern Yorkshire 44%, East of London 42%, England 40%, Southeast 40%, Northwest 39%, Midlands is around 39%, so still not a lot in Midlands, and London is at its lowest at 23%. So it goes to show, guys, girls, what is going on at the moment what is going on with this <coughs> all right and let me just shut that a minute there we go so what is actually going on right now why is it that the government are making compulsory and making people who are in the care homes to basically either walk out of their job or be fired because they don't want a vaccine and that 90% of the people old elderly people have been vaccinated let us know in the comments below guys and guys I need to get some water because oh absolutely thin sore throat at the moment coming on but anyway stay safe guys and girls and I'll see you on the next episode